What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video. This time I'm going down memory lane and taking a look at our boy DSP continual bout with depression. As you all know, to be a true locale, you have to have certain aspects of your personality, you know, to meet that locale definition. One of them is begging for money. Another one is being boring as crap on your streams and thinking you're more than what you are. And thirdly, it's battles with depression and it always seems to crop up whenever you're in trouble. <laughs> so whenever a low cow's in trouble or does something stupid, they whip out the old depression card. So let's take a look at our boy and his bouts with depression. I was like, damn, you know, you know what? That I could kind of, I could kind of understand that. There was a time in my life when I didn't feel like I had anything going for me. I was depressed. I was fucked up in my head, and I would obsess over dumb shit. Really, like I've been there, and now I'm in such a better position. And all I could do is hope that people like that eventually will find something better for themselves, so they can stop hyper focusing on this nonsensical bullshit on the internet, right? Thought I heard chattering. It's not. It's atmospheric noise. <laughs> No, I was so darn depressed. I didn't like how I put my life. I didn't like a lot about it, you know. I wonder, you think the teeth could be in a side room? It could be like, that was the time when, uh, uh, at some points, I was I was drinking too much. I was getting kind of depressed because everything was about work, 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 upload, 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 YouTube, YouTube, um, which is not good at all, right? I had no basically what I the, my problem was I had no work life balance. It was all work, work, work. Work was my life. See. Um, today's different. Today, I'm less popular. I do have financial concerns. But at the very same time, I have a work-life balance. I'm just, <clears throat> I don't know. You, there's certain people, like, you get a vibe. I always got a vibe off Chris Cornell that he was, like, depressed. I don't know why. Just looking at the guy. Maybe it's because I was depressed, too. And I could kind of tell. But I always, whenever he was interviewed, whenever he was anywhere on TV, this misery. I always felt that the guy was messed up in the head and he was depressed. I don't know. And if anything was, he never really outright said it. Nothing like making it about yourself, huh? That, or, or portraying it, I don't know. I just always had that vibe. Place, like, I mess, like I said in that react yesterday, you know, some points in my life I've been down, I've been depressed, drinking crazy amounts, <laughs> doing fucked up stuff, you know? Notice he keeps throwing in the whole drinking as the aspect of his depression. Uh, Maybe the issue is that you're an alcoholic. That, that could be the issue because alcoholism does uh, bring on bouts of depression. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and I don't do, I'm, that's not me anymore. Thank God. So, I'm in a better place now. I hope you guys see that. I'm you know, drunk and depressed again and reach out to them again. Because they made it pretty abundantly clear in this video. They didn't ever want to hear from me again. At least that's the way that I take. When someone's saying to you, um... You monetize the death of your friend, and you publicize Which you did. Which you did. Didn't pay us what you owed us. Which you didn't do. Constantly said nasty things about us, and we, we basically have had it. Which you did. Um, you know, you're you're drunk, you're, 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 you're texting us at night, doing all this fucked up stuff. Which you are, you know, and which you did. I didn't watch the video yet. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't about the income, it was about the emotion. Like I said, I was incredibly depressed, fucked up in the head, and... Got absolutely no kind of positive reaction, understanding, or anything from these guys. Nor, nor maybe should I have, because again, we haven't been talking and everything. But still, you know, it's funny because they're in the, in the video like, "Gee, maybe someone is messaging us in the middle of the morning. Maybe they're drunk and depressed, and maybe we should like reach out." Nah. No, why should they? You treated them like crap, and they wanted nothing to do with you. I, I wouldn't reach out to you either. Let's make a video about him for 90 minutes. That'll help the situation. Yeah, Scenes here. It was like two separate people living separate lives. And I was very depressed and doing very stupid, dumb things. And that was just one of many that you, you guys are aware of. But that was the worst, obviously. Um, I think he's talking about the incident. By the way, check out my recent video about the incident. And it was an insanely stupid decision. Insanely stupid, just in general. Why would I be doing it in here? But again... You know, having a separate life, it's kind of like, oh, I'm in here, this is my domain, this is my room, I'm separated from anything else in the outside world when I'm in here. 
and you know what I'm saying? Like, it was fucked up. It was really, 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 really fucked up. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Earlier before I was a YouTuber, and I, I actually was to the point where I was so depressed that at one point I was suicidal. And that, thank God, I've never gotten back there in my life, ever. Thank God. It could be a topic for another day. But in this case, this time of my life with all this bad stuff was going on, and essentially my personal life was non-existent anymore, um, this was the second lowest point of my life, where I was lost. I didn't feel like I had a future as a content creator. I didn't even like making content for YouTube anymore. I had actually lost my passion for it because I felt like no matter what, people were still going to hate me. Like there was never going to be a way to have people like me again because so much na nasty toxicity was allowed to be said about me on YouTube that I felt like this was the end of everything. And honestly, I was basically living, like they say, living on a prayer or shooting from the hip or whatever you want to say. I had no clue what was going to happen the next day. I love it how he uh, says that, oh, um, you know, when he complains about the tractors or trolls saying negative things about him. And in the very next sentence, he talks about how how terrible a person he was, and he admits to doing all those bad things, and yet he gets upset and angry that people called him out on his bullshit and actually spoke the truth and made videos about it, and Sanji used his own words and his own videos to show what type of a toxic person he is. So you can't blame the trolls or the detractors or Tevin or whoever made the videos. You're the one that put that out there. For example, the incident. You know, I, we know you don't like people talking about it. You get embarrassed about it. But you were the moron that did that. So that's on you. So you can't blame or criticize anyone. Like, I know you like to talk crap about Rich. And he talks about it and makes fun of it. You can't, you, you, you can't fault him for that. You know, he's not spreading lies. He's not editing your video or anything. It's what you did, what you put out there, and that's on you, pimp. Every day was a new, a new what fucked up thing is gonna happen to me next. That was my attitude. The bottom line is, yeah, all that stuff causes me sometimes to be depressed. There are days when sometimes I wake up and I'm like, what's the point of it all, right? But it's knowing that I have a fan base. It's knowing that I have a dedicated viewership of loyal uh, supporters who like me and like what I do. They know that I'm a flawed individual. They know that I'm not perfect. They also know that I'm real. I'm not a faker who puts out a character for you. Um, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people out there who are very popular because they put on a character face when they go on stream or they go on YouTube. And you never get that with me. You get the real me. You know? One of the, you know I, I've always prided myself on being incredibly honest. So... Well, Pimp, the real you sucks, and the real you is, is not something that most people like. As you can see from your view count, your videos, how, how many trolls you have, how many detractors you have, I'm pretty sure the amount of detractor trolls probably doubles the actual amount of viewers that actually enjoy your content. Just take a look at your view count, take a look at your donations, take a look at your memberships, yeah, so I think you need to do some more retrospective of your life, Pimp, and, and make some more changes because what you're currently doing now isn't working. Hope you liked the video. Peace out.